Well, the USMC, United States Marine Corps, has a long tradition going back to November 10th, 1775 in Tun Tavern. And I'm going to give you a couple tidbits that you probably never heard of. It's actually the first amphibious invasion that they had was in the um, landing on the Bahamas, Nassau Island, uh, to retake some munitions that were held by the British. And this was in 1776, led by C Captain Samuel Nichols, Nichols, Nicholas, who was actually the first considered the first commandant of the Marine Corps. So Samuel Nick Nicholas leads the first U.S. Marine mission in 1776 on July 4th. Um, he was a, basically he was a well-to-do, well-connected individual even before he became um, part of the Marine Corps, founded the Marine Corps. But he was also highly skilled, highly brave, highly honorable and ambitious. Um, he actually was in the missions himself, did not lead from the rear. He was actually partaking in all these missions himself. So he became a member of the Skull Kill Fishing Company, which is a fishing and social organization. At age 16, he helped found the Gloucester Fox Hunting Club, one of the earliest hunting clubs in America. This is actually the uh, grandfather of the Marine Corps, the first commandant. Uh, he became a proprietor in popular Philadelphia and... Um, when the American Revolution began, Congress asked Nicholas to form several battalions of Marines in the new Navy, not because of any experience that Samuel Nicholas had at sea, but because of his extensive associations in the city through the taverns. So he, they figured that he can get a lot of good people from the meeting at the taverns. The taverns back then were basically like not just bars. They were meeting places. They were inns. They were... It was an entertainment center, all wrapped up into one. It's not like a modern-day bar. Nicholas was commissioned as captain of Marines and set November 5th, 1775. He received a written commission on the 28th. Now, traditionally, the Marine Corps birthday is November 10th. And this is back. This would have happened um, five days after this commission of Captain Nicholas, uh, when there was a meeting at Tun Tavern. That was really what we consider the founding of the Marine Corps. So, through December, um, Nicholas recruited and trained several hundred Marines from his headquarters in Tun Tavern. So, Tun Tavern, that was on November 10th. That meeting actually was the official start date of the Marine Corps. They formed into five companies and two battalions on January 4th, which is actually today, 1776. They left Philadelphia on a first mission aboard the USS Alfred along with Captain, Captain Nicholas, Nicholas, Admiral Hopkins, and First Lieutenant John Paul Jones. Well, you know he is the father of the U.S. Navy. Commander Hopkins took the small feet from New Providence in the Bahamas, where Lord Doug Dunmore, the royal governor of the British of Virginia, had transported a large store of weapons to keep him out of the hands of the rebels in Virginia. Sounds kind of deja vu to today, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. Anyway, they arrived at, but you know what? The people back then had some balls. That's a big difference. They arrived, the Marines arrived at New Providence at March 3rd, and Captain Nichols led his 254 Marines. This is in Bahamas now, you're talking. Took the city of Nassau and two forts virtually without a fight. Captured 88 cannons, 15 mortars, and a large supply of other military items. The battle, this was like basically an amphibious operation. The Battle of Nassau is sometimes called the first successful Admiral American um, naval venture after the revolution. On a return mission, Nicholas's men participate in the first sea battle involving the Marines when the Alfred, which is the U.S. ship, ran into the eight, His Majesty's service, Glasgow, a British warship. So they promoted, after he returned, Congress promoted him to major, and um, he was also in, um, involved in assisting Washington in the Battle of Princeton, which is the first time the Marines were put under the command of the Army. Um, but what happened is eventually, you know, Nicholas volunteered to um, go aboard new missions on a new ship that was being built. Uh, I think it was called the USS America, I believe it was. Yeah, the USS America being built in Maine. Congress believed he was more valuable in training an organization and recruiting in order to stay in Philadelphia, which he did to the end of the war. So Nicholas Samuel Nichols is considered the first commandant in the Marine Corps for his role in forming this branch of, 
of the U.S. military. So that's a long-standing tradition. You probably don't, you probably have not heard that story, but you can see the type of valor and honor and fortitude, dedication to duty, and utmost skill that people had that fought for freedom back then. They weren't just sitting on their butt, man, making videos like me right now, but I'll be out there doing some more stuff. Uh, but, you know, there's a brotherhood. There's a brotherhood that's going on. There's a brotherhood go that's going on till today, too. And, you know, one thing you got to remember, um, usually between, usually amongst the first and second termers, the ones that are really coming from the citizenship that have not been, you know, in so long where the carrot stick of the career is so important to them, the first and second termers, if they break, you know, with bad authority, are going to be the ones that are protecting us, along with us ourselves, do, against tyranny in this country. Uh, I figured I'd mention this too because basically this is an anniversary date for the first invasion that the Marines participated, actually did, against uh, a um, garrison in the Bahamas that held all these munitions and arms that the British were trying to keep away from the Virginians, the colonists, who were revolting against the British government. So, looks like things are going on today as they were back then. Interesting story. Um, and uh, I got a lot more of these because I'm in the Sons of the American Revolution. I get these articles all the time. So, <laughs> they're very interesting. And a lot of things are not known by people. That's the thing. So, I'll be putting them out here on the YouTube. And, we, and they'll be on BitChute. And they'll be on Minds. And uh, just just to make sure they stay up there somehow because YouTube can't be trusted in this day and age of of communism, which the big tech bureaucrats are. Want to just own us? As a matter of fact, I'll just say leave you with this thought: the big tech bureaucrats today are worse than King George ever was. So take appropriate action. Over and out.